so we can study about the next module module 3 which is fuzzy systems so fuzzy means vagueness and it is a theory for solving uncertainty in a problem so it has become one of the most rapidly used technologies of today and it can be used in some control systems and it resembles human decision making and from there we can make precise solution from approximate information that is if information given to us that is the input data is not clear then that is called as vagueness but with that information if we can develop proper decisions or proper human like decisions then that is called as fuzziness so this method was proposed by Lofty Azadeh in 1965 and it mimics the ability of human reasoning so it is very difficult to solve using binary logic binary logic means either it can be true or it can be false so fuzzy logic is different from binary logic next let us understand what is the problem with binary logic or why we need to go for fuzzy set or fuzzy logic so in maths uh, we can understand certain things based on the set theory imagine I have got a set consisting of all the people on earth and from that I am going to create a subset which consists of people who are tall so if I am going to consider a small set of people from that I am going to understand how many people belong to the tall set so if I am going to take a couple of people if they belong to the tall set they will have value 1 or they will have value 0 that is binary logic but how can you define tall let me say I am going to define tall as people who are greater than 6 feet will be tall and people who are less than 6 feet will be short But there is a problem in this concept so any person who is having 7 feet is also tall and a person who is 5 feet 11 inch is considered to be short so just with a difference of 1 inch you are going to define that a person is going to be short or tall that is a 5 feet 11 inch person I am going to define it as short person whereas a 6 feet person would becomes tall which is not correct based on human decision making according to binary logic this is correct but according to human logic this concept is not correct because 5 feet 11 is also generally considered as a tall person whereas a 7 feet person and a 6 feet person are both tall but there is no distinction between them we say that they are both tall which is again not correct we have to say that 7 feet person is very very tall so there has to be a proper distinction and this is done based on fuzzy logic so let us understand in binary logic imagine this is the tall set so what is the degree of membership or how much does one person belong to the tall set so imagine this is the 6 feet demarcation that we have applied and any person having a height above 6 feet is considered to be tall and his membership function or degree of membership mu will be equal to 1 whereas a person having degree of membership less than 6 feet will be having a degree of membership is equal to 0 that is that person will not be tall so binary logic always have a sharp edge function there will be a sharp demarcation between the two set that is tall and not tall so this is the problem with binary logic next let us see how a fuzzy set approach provides a better solution for problems like these so I am going to consider that a person greater than 210 is definitely tall whereas a person between 150 and 210 also has some degree of membership towards the tall function it's not like either 0 or 1 it can have any value between 0 and 1 
and that value will tell us how much it belongs to the tall category for example a person having 160 cm is definitely not that tall but still he or she can belong to the tall category in a very less manner so that can be a value like say 0.2 so the degree of membership of a person having 160 cm in height is not that tall but the degree of membership will be a very small value which indicates that the person is not very tall and similarly a person who is having 180 cm is having 0.5 membership or the value of mu will be equal to 0.5 which means that the person belongs to the tall set 50 percentage chance that is not very tall but a kind of a medium height then person having 210 will have degree of membership is equal to 1 which means that he or she is definitely tall and any value greater than that will be considered tall so the problem like a person having 5 feet 11 inch which was described earlier is considered to be absolutely short now becomes wrong it becomes that 5 feet 11 inch also belongs to the tall category with say membership function of say 0.9 or something like that okay so uh, it's according to how we decide what is the tall height and all that but the degree of membership will be very high for that person and we can understand that this is a much better representation when considering binary logic the same can be also extended towards other set like short medium and tall and as we saw earlier binary will have a sharp edge function whereas in fuzzy we'll be having slopes like this tall is having a slope like this medium is having slope on either side short is having a slope towards this side so a person having 180 cm is definitely in the medium height but that person also belongs to both the short in a very small manner and also belongs to the tall set in a very small manner so all that depends upon the value of the membership function that we are going to assign to that crisp logic is another name for binary logic where it has got only two values either 0 or 1 fuzzy means it can have more set of values between 0 and 1 so for example if i am considering a question like is water colorless so based on crisp logic i can say that yes water is colorless or no water is not colorless so this is considered to be a crisp log crisp logic next if i say if there is a question like is ram honest so we all may say some little lies based on the situation right so we can say that ram is extremely honest that is ram is not going to say any type of lies or based on some situation for very important things maybe he may say that some few lies or something like that but that doesn't definitely make him a dishonest person so uh, we can say that he belongs with a membership function of 0.8 towards the honest set and he is always saying lies sometimes only if he is being honest then we can say that his membership function is say 0.4 and then extremely dishonest which means that he never says any truth always you can assume that person is saying lies so only in that case we say that the membership function will be equal to 0 so this actually is fuzzy logic and this is crisp or binary logic so in terms of mathematical equations let us represent crisp set so let a be the set of tall people and let this be the people whom we have taken and say there are n elements in that set and we are going to decide if a particular value a1 a2 or a3 how much it belongs to the tall set or not so if it belongs to the tall set we are going to define that is a membership function will be 1 if it does not belong to the tall set then we are going to give the value as 0 that is crisp set or binary logic has only two values 1 and 0 now here there is a world called as universal base set x universal base set means it is the 
universal set consisting of all the people in the world out of that i am going to consider say only maybe a few people and those few people i am going to decide if they belong to the tall set or short set or whatever okay so universal set is the set consisting of all the people on earth so that is represented by capital x or the chi symbol and x is each of the element so if x belongs to the tall set then the value will be 1 otherwise the value will be 0 now this is how a fuzzy set is represented a normal binary logic is represented by a capital letter say a or b or the sets are represented by some capital letter whereas a fuzzy set is represented with a tilde sign the tilde sign can be either on top or the tilde sign can be either on the bottom so if you see a tilde sign it means that the set is not an ordinary binary set or a crisp set then it is a fuzzy set next we have to understand that for fuzzy the value of the membership function will be between 0 and 1 so membership function will belong between 0 and 1 and this is the equation for it for which you can by heart next let us study few operations on fuzzy set so the first one is union so as i told earlier fuzzy set is represented by capital letters like an ordinary set but it will have a tilde either on the top or on the bottom so union means a fuzzy a union fuzzy b so that is represented by this equation maximum of the membership value of a comma membership value of b again this is the diagram of that two fuzzy sets are uh, you are taking the union of two fuzzy set next we have intersection intersection means intersection b fuzzy set intersection fuzzy set b so that is the minimum of membership function of a comma membership function of b so this is the venn diagram for intersection this is the only common area between the two fuzzy set so that is called as intersection next we have complement complement is there will be a bar on top and there will be a tilde sign equal to 1 minus mu a so this is the complement of a fuzzy set so if you have a fuzzy set which is represented by this function then its complement is given like this that is the opposite of that particular function 1 minus that value now when we do problems we will be understanding much better and now we have properties of fuzzy set just like that of ordinary set you have the same type of properties you can learn uh, six or seven of them so they are given over here so instead of normal set which is represented by a capital letter here you'll just write a tilde also R remaining all the properties belong to ordinary mathematical set itself so you have to learn a couple of these so next let us learn this problem so next let us learn this problem consider two fuzzy sets are given fuzzy set a and fuzzy set b fuzzy set are represented by a numerator and a denominator value so first in order to perform union of these two fuzzy set okay the question is to find the union intersection difference and complement so in order to find the union of the two set what we have to do is we have to find the maximum value of the membership function of a and b so you need to consider like this okay so among the 1 by 2 and 0.5 by 2 the denominator is the same so you just have to consider the numerator so here numerator 1 is greater so you write 1 over here 
then out of 0 0.3 by 4 and 0 0.4 by 4 again you need not bother about the denominator just consider the numerator part so 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 maximum value is 0 0.4 so we will write 0 0.4 over here then next is 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 again 0 0.5 is greater so we are going to write 0 0.5 as the answer 0 0.5 by 6 then we have 0 0.2 and 1 so again 1 is greater so we are going to write 1 over here so likewise we can also do the intersection that is finding out the minimum value so minimum value means out of the two set what is the minimum value out of 1 and 0 0.5 0 0.5 is the minimum value out of 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 0 0.3 is the minimum value 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 0 0.1 is the minimum value so that is how we are going to write the intersection we are going to write all the minimum values and also their denominators so we also have to write the equation and then solve for it so it is very important to write the equation without which you will not get any mark so next in order to find the complement you have to find you have to find 1 minus mu a x that is you have to find the complement separately for both the fuzzy set so in order to find the complement of a what you will do is 1 minus mu a x so 1 minus 1 you will get 0 0.3 minus 1 minus 0.3 you will get 0.7 1 minus 0.5 you will get 0.5 and 1 minus 0.2 you will get 0.8 similarly you can do for the b set also likewise in order to find the difference difference is fuzzy set a intersecting that is the minimum value between the complement of b so you have to consider fuzzy set a and complement of b and take the minimum among these two that will give you the difference second b difference with a then you have to first take b fuzzy set and then do the intersection with a so if you can just calculate intersection means you are just finding out the minimum value between this set that is the b set and the complement of a set